Good evening, I'm Kevin Burdett, Assistant Supervisor with District-Wide Special Ops, located at the uh, Normandy Maintenance Facility. Been working with MoDOT for a little over five years now. Work zones are part of our daily activities. More specifically, mobile operations have become more and more common, both during the day and at night. In this video, we will cover the basics of mobile operations that you should take into consideration prior to participating in any mobile operations. Prior to mobile operations taking place, be sure to take part in any and all safety discussions, such as the RBA discussion about the work that will be taking place and the required PPE. This is when you need to ask the questions so that you fully understand your role and responsibility during mobile operations. Don't assume you know. Mobile operations are made up of a combination of vehicles and or equipment. Typically, what you see is a work vehicle followed by a protective vehicle or multiple protective vehicles. In most cases, the protective vehicles have a TMA attached to them. Following the safety discussion, and prior to going out on the road, you need to perform a pre-trip inspection on the work vehicle. Check to ensure that all of the tools, equipment, and materials are secured. All cargo must be properly secured and contained to the work vehicle. The operator of the protective vehicle equipped with a TMA must perform a pre-trip inspection also. All warning lighting needs to be working properly. Check to ensure that the arrow panel is working and all modes work properly. Depending on the model of TMA that is used, make sure the TMA is working properly and is securely mounted to the protective vehicle. Working on the highway has many hazards. While knowing all of the hazards cannot be eliminated, MoDOT is committed to providing the safest possible work environment for the employees and our customers. When merging onto the highway, gradually change lanes. Once all vehicles are in the proper lane, be sure to provide the proper vehicle spacing, maintaining at least 150 feet roll ahead distance while maximizing the sight distance for the traveling public. Crew members performing work on the roadway need to be aware of their surroundings. Stay within the protective lane. Pay attention and look out for your fellow crew workers. Take care to not step into live traffic. Do not enter or work in the roll ahead space. To ensure that safety of the crew working on the road, as the operator of the protective vehicle with a TMA, Stay alert, checking your mirrors regularly, staying off your cell phones at all times. Operating a protective vehicle can be very stressful. If you become fatigued or tired, be sure to rotate out to remain alert. If you are operating the primary protective vehicle with a TMA, should maintain a 150 feet of roll ahead distance. If you are about to be struck, you need to alert the crew performing work and should not take preventive action. Instead, pull in the emergency brake so not to roll forward. Some operations have multiple protective vehicles with a TMA, known as secondary protective vehicles with a TMA. The secondary protective vehicle must maximize their visibility whether it is by increasing the distance between protective vehicles and in some operations when possible, staggering the vehicles when possible to create a taper effect. Some secondary protective vehicles are equipped with emergency lighting. This is to be used when a vehicle is approaching and is failing to change lanes. If you are operating a secondary protective and are about to be struck, take preventative action. Pull forward while maintaining your lane to avoid being struck. Be sure to maintain a minimum 150 foot roll ahead distance. However, once you reach 150 foot mark, approximately three and a half to four skip lines, you will need to apply the emergency brake to avoid rolling ahead to the other vehicle. Once all work has been completed, be sure to exit the roadway safely by getting up to highway speed and gradually exiting the highway. 
If we do our part and be safe, then we will go home safe and so will our customers.